she said, you know, we, there have been some reports, Congresswoman Edwards, that this young man was, you know, uh, playing a lot of those very violent, very realistic games. Well, I mean, I think that, you know, there are multiple things that we have to do here and use um, this circumstance of the tragedy in Newtown uh, to create both policy solutions but also cultural solutions. I, you know, I think that it, well, it is true, we have to rebuild a, or build a fabric for mental health services, especially for young people to give parents the resources that they need and wrap our hands that this community will need and the uh, surviving families and children. But we also, we've got to get the guns. I mean, we just do. There were assault weapons used here, weapons that are used by military and law enforcement. And it seems to me that there can be a bright line uh, for removing those kinds of weapons. Um, there can be a bright line for background checks that don't just cover 60% of the guns um, that come through gun shows and individual sales. We regulate cars um, in that respect, knowing who transfers a car more than we know who transfers a weapon. Happen. There are real things that we can do, and we have an obligation to it. And if this doesn't call us to action, George, I don't know what will. And when the memorial services mm -hmm. and the community comes together and we thank the first responders and nothing changes, well, this better be the tipping point. If this doesn't convince the average American citizen anywhere in the country, red state, blue state, that we need action. And people say, well, it has to be comprehensive. And sure, it has to be comprehensive. But there are certain things we can do right away. We can get rid of assault rifles. We can get rid of magazines that have more than 10 bullets in them. Had this guy been limited to a magazine clip that had 10 bullets, maybe half those children survived. You know, we're not going to eliminate incidents like this, but we can cut down on the carnage and we can cut down on the carnage significantly. We can also close the gun show loophole. Mm -hmm. Do you know it's shocking, Alex, that 40% of the guns purchased in America are purchased without the buyer being subject to a background check. Even NRA members, 74% of NRA members and 89% of all gun owners want background checks before anybody can get a gun. So the, the men and women in Congress have to stiffen their backs, not be afraid of the organization, the NRA, because the members of the NRA are better than the organization. And it's time for us to act finally once and for all. Um, you know, Margie, watching Democrats deal with this issue in the 90s, uh, Clinton always, he, he made a pivot, he tried to sort of take the gun issue and merge it with culture uh, and, par and par parental stuff and, and sort of going after Hollywood in a way that not everybody and uh, going on the Joe Lieberman side of things. Is that the way for Democrats to have this conversation? Well, public opinion shows that there is widespread support for a whole host of tightening of just common sense gun laws. 40% of gun sales don't require a background check. There is overwhelming support even with gun owners for tightening that and making sure that that's a requirement. Making it harder to trafficking guns and banning uh, high capacity magazines. There is, thing is there are things that we can do policy wise to keep guns out of the hands of dangerously mentally ill people. Right now only 60% of all gun sales in our country require background checks so it's illegal for somebody who's been adjudicated mentally ill to buy a gun. The problem is in 40% of all gun sales there are no background checks. So just by passing a simple law like that, making the background checks that exist through the Brady Bill universal, apply to gun shows, apply to the big gun show that exists every day over the internet. We I think there are a set of solutions to be had here. They both have to do with the weapon and with the human involved in this. And mm -hmm. so there are a couple of things. One, you've got to close the gun show loophole. 40% mm -hmm. of all guns that are sold in this country are sold without background check or identification through private sales. So you must do that today. 